Hi guys, it's Wombat and it's time for one of my top lists again. Today we're doing a top 5 truck mods list that is also an awesome BDF, which also includes an awesome BDF trailer. So this time you have one single link where you find everything you needed for this truck to behave and look like mine does on this list. There is no need for any additional downloads whatsoever. It's just that one link in the video description for each and one of these trucks. So there's the criteria, which means that we won't take a look at RJL, for instance. Yes, you can use that as a BDF as well. I've already done a video on it, but you need to download several other things to be able to do that. There are a ton of great BDF trucks out there, but many of them do not include a trailer, so you have to go looking for a trailer of your own. In this case, you don't have to worry about any of that. It's all included. And that includes, of course, the cargo itself as well. And between you and me, there's never need for a cargo mod for a BDF like this because the, the trailer behaves like any other trailer out there. So if you own the trailer, you see that SES has included cargo for it. We are using the same cargo on these trailers. So number one on the list for today is obviously the new star on the horizon. It's the Iveco Turbo Star by Ralph84. It's the only Iveco in this list and what a truck it is. Of course it has to be on the list. You already know a lot about how you can configure it or rather can't configure it because that was one of the things I'm, I was complaining about in my video on the Turbo Star. There isn't that much you can do configuring this one. But it's obviously going to be on the list because it's a totally awesome truck to haul in. And where else would you haul in this than in Italy, where we are right now? The second truck on the list is the DAF 95 ATI by XPS. Again, I've done nothing to this truck. I've only used what is included with the truck. There's a ton of things you can do to configure this one. One of the things that is very good about this truck is all the skins you can add to it. It's a beautiful truck and I highly recommend it. It's also a great truck to use as a tractor truck. They all are, by the way. All the trucks on this list is great tractor trucks as well. But the BDF on this one in particular is fantastic for all the skins that is included that is matching both the trailer and the truck itself. The sound is great, the interior is awesome. You're gonna love this one. The next truck on the list is the Volvo F88, also by XPS. It's the second truck by XPS, but I promise it's gonna be the last one on the list because we're only doing BDF trucks. That includes a trailer. If we were gonna do just a tractor truck list, we will probably see four or possibly even five of XPS trucks here. Some of you might even recognize the Volvo F88 from the Bandar Express haul I did from Kirkenes, Norway, all the way down to the Middle East some time ago. It is one of my all-time favorite truck mods, even if it is a Volvo. I am a Scania guy and unfortunately <laughs> XPS still haven't made any Scania trucks that we can use as a BDF. And I love this. I even love this so much that I forced Alex1973, the guy who makes my skins, I forced him to make me two different skins for this truck, which I'm very happy he did. And I had kind of forced myself today not to use one of them for this video. This is the skin you see now on the truck and trailer. It's what comes with a package together with some other great looking skins as well. This is the DAF XF105 by VAT and K and I was kinda wondering about whether I should include this one or not on the list and the reason for that is that it's such a new truck compared to everything else on this list. I love old trucks and I love old BDFs but this one has a ton 
of different accessories and styles and things you can add to it so it had to go on the list if you want a truck where you can modify the interior insanely if you want to go all in on interiors this is a truck i highly recommend and of course it is available as a bdf as well so it made it to the list even though i will admit it's also the newest truck it isn't my favorite truck for that reason but if we take any of these trucks and compare how much you can configure them this one wins all categories external and internal modifications to the truck and last but definitely not least my favorite russian truck the zil 130 i love this truck and i'm gonna do a long haul at some point in the future using this one the reason i love this truck so much is one it's a very old truck model and it's also a very very underpowered truck it has in my case now a 150 horsepower so trying to haul anything heavier than say 10 ton perhaps is gonna be quite the struggle you're also gonna be very very slow in this thing my 150 horsepower version has a five speed manual and it's probably hopefully capable of reaching 70 kilometers an hour perhaps going downhill maybe 75 it sounds fantastic it is getting old but i'm grateful it's still being updated it's one of the best truck mods ever made and it is available as a bdf unfortunately it don't have a matching trailer but it does come with a trailer it's not matching the colors, you can't match the skins. Skinning the Zill is more or less impossible. You use it as it is, or you don't use it at all, basically. But again, it's one of my absolute favorite trucks ever made. And I wish it lives on forever. And that is my top five list of BDF trucks for today i want to mention a couple of other trucks as well there is a camas 54 64 65 by corral it's a great truck mod but unfortunately it doesn't include a trailer same goes with the zill 157 great truck doesn't come with a trailer and the mas 5340 the same thing there it is available as a bdf but there is no trailer included so there you have it that is the list for today i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did give me a thumbs up if you haven't done so already subscribe as well until next time take care everyone bye bye